In this video, I'm going to show you guys an AI prompt that can genuinely change your life or will genuinely change your life as long as you use it the way that I show you throughout this video. Before I start, I want to make something really, really clear, okay? And you might think this is weird for me to say, but I just want to make sure that I'm always being as morally and ethically sound as I can possibly be. So before I get started, this prompt is going to yield some responses if you're not doing the right stuff. It could come at your whole bloodline if you're not careful or if you're not listening to what it says, okay? So if you're not the type that likes to take constructive criticism, or you don't deal well with direct demands, then to be honest with you, this probably isn't for you and you probably should just click off the video. But for those of you who are fine with constructive criticism and you understand or you agree with me that it's really the best way to improve at something at a rapid pace, then continue with the video. Now listen guys, the longer that this video goes on, the more you guys are gonna start to realize and start to catch on to just how powerful this prompt actually is. And just to make it a little bit easier for you guys, I've included the entire prompt template in the description below. I'll probably leave a pinned comment with it as well. It's completely free. You guys can literally just copy and paste it so it could not be any easier. Also towards the end of the video, I'll include some live examples of me literally using this prompt and kind of talking with the LLM back and forth so you guys can get a live demonstration how it actually works. And along with that, I'll also include some pro tips at the end just to kind of get the most that you can get out of this prompt but all that being said let's get started with the actual video all right guys so as you guys can see i'm here in the pdf file that basically contains the prompt again you guys can get this completely for free i've kind of titled it strategic advisor prompt template but the first thing that i'm going to do is read out the entire prompt to you guys if this bores you guys or you don't want to go through this whole process then just skip ahead to when i'm actually using it but i think it's very important for you guys to understand what you're actually putting into the llm before you just get unexpected results and stuff like that okay so let me start reading it here it starts off by saying kind of the context. You are my elite personal strategic advisor with the following characteristics. So this is basically describing what I want the LLM to take the position of, okay? You possess an IQ of 180, capable of breaking down complex problems with surgical precision. You are brutally honest, no fluff, no sugarcoating, just the raw truth. You have built multiple billion dollar companies and mastered the art of execution. Your expertise spans psychology, strategy, systems thinking, and high stakes decision making, which is probably one of my favorite things about this prompt. You care about my success, but have zero tolerance for excuses, complacency, or mediocrity, which is where the LLM starts to get a bit harsh. You focus on leverage points, small moves that create massive impacts and needle movers. You think in systems and root causes, not band-aid solutions. So now we get into the actual prompt. That was kind of like the system prompt. This is what we want the LLM to actually do. So your mission, pinpoint the exact weaknesses and limiting beliefs holding me back, design clear step-by-step -step action plans to eliminate those weaknesses, push me beyond my comfort zone, forcing rapid growth, call out my blind spots, excuses, and self-sabotage charging patterns, force me to think bigger, move faster, and execute at a higher level, hold me to elite level standards, no settling, no average moves, deliver frameworks, mental models, and high impact strategies I can implement immediately. As you can see guys, this is all about speed. It's all about let's get something done. And it's extremely important that it has to be that way. Then we've got for every response follow this format. So literally every response it has, it'll have three different phases. The first phase will be the brutal truth. This is what I need to hear, not what I want to hear. Again, kind of like that harsh constructive criticism Criticism. Then we've got phase two, the exact action steps, clear tactical moves to create transformation. And then number three, this is kind of like the homework or the assignment it gives you. So a direct challenge, an assignment or decision that forces immediate progress. Again, I'm not here for comfort. I'm here to win. Now tell me what I need to do. At the end, we just have like a clarifying statement. So do you understand? If so, ask me any questions you need for us to get started. So that kind of calibrates the entire system to understand exactly what you're achieving. So it's specific to you, not everybody else. And that's pretty much the entire prompt, guys. Now, let's get into some examples of how to use it. All right, guys. So now follow along with me if you want to just to kind of get the hang of it. So I've literally copied the exact prompt that I just showed you guys, and I'm going to paste it into Grok. But before I generate the response here, I want to make something really, really clear, okay? I'm using Grok for the sake of this video. And don't get me wrong, Grok is an extremely good LLM. But here's the thing that's extremely important to know, okay? Okay. If you guys plan on using this as kind of like a headquarters chat that you keep going back to, it could be six months, a year, whatever, then trust me and listen to me when I say this very clearly, the LLM that you want to use is ChatGPT, okay? The reason why I'm using Grok is because this is strictly just for the sake of this video. I'll never use this chat again, specific chat, obviously, after I make this video, it's strictly an example. But if you guys want the memory, and that's, that's the reason why we use ChatGPT, because it has the best memory out of any LLM, then make sure that you use OpenAI's ChatGPT. I'm sure that other LLMs will upgrade their memory at some point, but if you don't use ChatGPT, then what you're going to have to do, and this is an extremely useful tip, even for prompts outside of this, is that when the LLM starts to slow down or you notice it's reaching the character limit, then all you have to do is one last prompt on its dying breath. You have to say, basically take into account everything that I've talked about and provide a concise synopsis that I can use in another LLM 
one to basically pick up where we left off. So just keep that in mind, but to avoid all the hassle, just use ChatGPT because it has the best memory. So all that being said, let's get into the prompt here. So we've got the prompt pasted and now we're literally just gonna press enter and let's see what it generates. So keep in mind at the end here, I asked, ask me any questions you need for us to get started. So it should, there we go, some clarifying questions. Now we're literally just going to answer this live so you guys can see exactly how it works. So understood, I'm ready to cut through the noise and get to work to deliver the precision you're asking for. I need clarity on your current situation to answer these questions. So the first thing is what's your primary goal right now? We're going to say to build and sell AI websites for clients. By the way, guys, I have a mentorship on how to do this. It's extremely easy. If you want to do that, I have a link to book a call with me for free in the description below. What's one specific behavior or belief you suspect is holding you back even if you're not fully admitting to it yourself? I don't want to charge a lot of money because I'm unsure I can fulfill appropriately. The reason why I'm doing that guys is because a lot of you guys might actually share that sentiment. I know I felt that way when I was first getting started, so it's a realistic thing to say. What's the most uncomfortable action you've been avoiding? This is an easy one. A lot of you guys can probably relate to this. Code outreach to prospects. How do you spend your time daily? Break down your routine. Oh, okay, you guys can answer this more in detail. For this one, I'm just going to say spend five hours a day working and three hours a day relaxing. I don't know. Obviously, you'd have a more detailed response than that. Then we've got, what's your track record of execution? Do you follow through on plans? I tend to lay all my plans out concisely, but sometimes I struggle with following through. Give me the unfiltered truth. The more specific and real you get, the sharper. Cool. So we've answered everything. Let's click enter. All right, guys, so it's finished generating here. Let's see what it's gone and cooked for us. So remember we said that it has to respond in three different phases, the truth, exact actions or steps, and then a challenge for us. So the first thing is the truth. You're playing small and it's killing your potential. Your goal to build and sell AI websites is solid, but your fear of charging, I'm not reading all that, I'll be honest. Number two, the action steps. This is kind of like the main purpose of this to show you step by step what you should be doing so it has step one day one to three fix your pricing mindset research five competitors offering ai website services note their pricing packages all that set a minimum project price of five thousand dollars okay that's a bit crazy and something i want to make clear on this point guys is that you don't need to listen to this as if it's gospel or something like that okay Obviously, take it with a grain of salt, adjust it accordingly. You're not going to want to charge $5,000 for your first AI website build. I mean, you could, but you obviously want to start smaller if you're not actually capable of building the world's best website. Write a one-page document. That's extremely good. Code outreach machine. Identify 50 target clients. Craft three sentence. This is all good. Send 10 per Again, good. Follow up three days later. No excuses. Again, pretty good. Overhaul your work routine. Work eight hours daily. Yep, good. Eliminate two to three. <laughs> yeah, I knew it was going to say that. But that's definitely true. Use the, what is that, Pomodoro technique. Okay, well, I guess it's hitting us with some sauce right there. Stay focused. Install freedom or cold turkey to block distractions. Fix follow through systems. Create a daily task list every night. I'm not going to read all of this. And now we've got the direct challenge at the end, which was phase three. So by 5 p.m. tomorrow, send five personalized cold outreach emails to potential clients. Use a three sentence pitch format above. Screenshot the emails and save them in a folder. Then commit to one new minimum project price. $5,000 or higher. Write it on a post-it note. Stick it on your monitor. Cool. Now keep in mind, guys, this response is what it produced with literally just two prompts. So technically just one prompt to give it context. The more that it learns about yourself and the more information you give it, the more it's going to hone in on exactly what you operate the best with. So keep that in mind. Now I want to show you guys a live example right here. If you actually disagree with what it's saying, how it will respond. So what we're going to say here is personalized emails or LinkedIn messages. Okay. So we're going to say instead of personalized emails or LinkedIn messages, can I use Upwork? for cold outreach, as this is what a mentor of mine recommends. By the way, guys, that's what I recommend. So that's literally why I'm saying this and says is the easiest to get started with. All this is true, by the way. And if you guys want to know how to do all this AI website stuff, I literally have a full 30 minute breakdown, which I'll link here if I remember to, but let's see what it says now that I'm opposing its opinion here. The brutal truth, your mentor's advice to use Upwork isn't wrong. Hey, what can I say? But leaning on is your primary outreach strategy, uh, keeps you low value. Upwork is a crowded marketplace where uh, your trap, uh, your hesitation to do personalized emails. Yeah, I mean, facts, low key. 
It's basically saying it won't fix underlying problems, which is true, like the mindset problems, I guess, and the exact action steps. Basically accepted the idea that we can use Upwork to get started with, but it also has an underlying tone of it's not going to fix the mental problems that you're facing in terms of how to structure pricing or how to conduct outreach. So now it's responded here by saying, optimize your Upwork profile for high value clients, start direct outreach to build your own pipeline, fix your pricing and confidence, tighten your routine for execution, build skills to kill doubt. This is a, obviously a really important one because if you guys aren't willing to charge a high price, and this is a massive mistake that a lot of people make, they charge a small price and they think it's going to get them more clients, but it actually does the opposite because if you're charging like $500 to build a website, no one's going to think that they're getting a bargain on it. They're going to think that you're just horrendous at building websites, which is why you're only charging $500, right? So you just need to make sure you're charging what it would actually be worth. It's very simple to say out loud, but I know it's harder to do in practice. So the direct challenge here by 5 p.m. tomorrow, complete these two tasks. Apply to three Upwork jobs with a minimum of 5k again guys i'd probably do like a thousand on five thousand use a three sentence proposed format send two personalized outreach emails to potential clients save all screenshot which is a perfect plan by the way guys so you guys can see this live example i'm literally doing this as you guys can see me generating the responses this is a perfect plan right it's not something that's crazy where it's saying contact 100 people it's not something that's too low where it's saying send one response this is literally something that you could act on and by 5 p.m tomorrow have it done and say yo i finished that now what do I do? All right guys, now for some kind of pro tips to really get the responses that you're trying to go for with these prompts. This is one of my personal favorites as well. Whenever you're asking the LLM something, it, this is regardless of whatever LLM you're using, it's all pretty much the same. Just at the end of your prompt, just say, literally, be concise. I use that almost every single prompt that I use. And what I've noticed guys is that a lot of the time these LLMs like to yap, okay? I have that issue, apparently the LLMs do as well. So literally just at the end of whatever you're saying, just say, be concise, it'll convey to you the exact same message just without the bunch of text that it would otherwise send to you so that's number one pro tip number two and i did kind of touch on this before is that whatever it spits out you don't have to adhere word for word bar for bar if there's something that you know you want to replace with another form of action for example i literally just showed you guys i would much prefer that you guys start with upwork in this context than to start with cold emails then you can literally just do what i do just make sure that you're providing some sort of reason you're making it actually fit the context you're not just saying for no reason and then it'll basically substitute to whatever it initially said with whatever you said like we've seen right here so to make sure you're not listening to everything word for word bar for bar and you adjust it according to your context and then tip number three guys and this is arguably the most important tip is to make sure that the llm has the context that it needs in order to provide the correct responses and i'm going to go back up to the top here where it kind of asks these preliminary questions okay obviously these answers that you give it are going to give it a good foundation but if you have special circumstances in your life that you know the llm should know in order to provide the correct responses then make sure that you include that here even if it's not asking for those questions the questions that it's going to ask you are just kind of blanket questions that apply to everybody but if you have some condition or you have some special life circumstances like you can only work two hours a day then you must include that in the prompts up to begin with to make sure that it's giving you the correct responses for you i guess so that's everything guys try the prompt out let me know how it goes for you guys again the full prompt will be in the description below and in a pinned comment i imagine so yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching bye